Hi folks, it's a beautiful day in Sweden. I'm here in Sweden on the Baltic coast about a couple of kilometers from where my grandfather grew up and we saw my grandfather's old farmstead today and the initials that he carved in a beam on a house uh, before he left for America and it was very inspiring. And I came here because, uh, you know, I wanted to see uh, the old, you know, connect with where we came from in Sweden, but more importantly with my two oldest sisters who are here and I want to introduce them to you. They are, uh, you know, I was, as a kid, I was kind of standoffish. I was in my own little world. I did, did not connect with my family or with anyone. I still don't really. And, uh, but you know, now I realize how much they contributed to my life, my entire family, how much they formed me, how much there were these big iconic characters in my life and how much I viewed life and grew up in reaction to them and in, you know, relation to them. And, and I realized that I really appreciate that. And I'm really grateful that they were in my life. And I'm serious. They're smirking here, uh, but I'm very serious. So I'm going to introduce you to them and I'm going to ask them, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, to say something. First of all, this is Melanie. Uh, Melanie is my second biggest sister. She is, uh, she's a very spiritual woman. She's very family oriented. Um, I love her and appreciate her much because she she kind of gave like a moral background to the entire family, I think. Yes. Um, and okay, so and but Melanie has uh, has uh, been just woke up and she's warned me that she probably doesn't have anything to say because she's really sleepy. Melanie, is there something you would like to say? It's been a wonderful, wonderful few days. I won't forget. Um, so I love you, Eric. Talk to you later. Here's my biggest sister, my big sister, number one, Diana. Um, she is was a politician in Hawaii. She's an artist. She's a, a really a famous artist in Hawaii, actually, painter. And uh, she's got this incredible energy. She's non-stoppable. She's like, she's incredible. She's just, she can do anything, basically. And it's just amazing. She was sometimes, you know, she was like a father or a big brother or, a, you know, mother to me. And, uh, and I really appreciate and love her. And, uh, okay, Diana, is there something you can say about life that you've learned in life well thank you for having me here today Eric <laughs> and uh, I appreciate the opportunity to be on your show yeah, she's paying for all this by the way uh, no. okay. <laughs> um, but w one of the things I really want to say is that I really appreciate you thank you I know you do by the way but say something no, see, about I'm gonna get teary teary-eyed okay oh no, no that's but okay I don't care but the point is that we have to Appreciate our families before it's too late. And the second thing is that you start out in life with a plan, or you think you have a plan, as young and stupid as we are, and then you get you get different opportunities, different things happen, uh, different paths are taken, and you think you're choosing, but you're not. And so what you find out at the end of it is that you are left with, you have been left with a whole variety of choices. And so it, you choose along the way. And the only thing you can really do is to, to play the hand you're dealt. You, 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 something happens and you choose how to react to it. And I guess that goes back to a lot of philosophers is the only choice we really have is how to react to anything. So we can choose to take up happily, to put it on our shoulders and carry it, or dump it by the wayside, or do whatever we want to do. But that is our only choice in life, is how we react to anything, to anybody, any person, any slight, any bit of happiness, anything, any opportunity. So we make the choice, but the choice is how to react to what is dealt with us. Um, having said that, I appreciate your coming. I hope it's not another 10 years. And... Um, you are always my little brother, and I will say one thing that you should remember forever. You are a storyteller, genetically. Thank you very much. Thanks, folks.